guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Zara and I make lifestyle and fashion content here on YouTube and over on Instagram and TikTok as well so make sure you follow me over there I think we're gonna jump right into this vlog but I have a very busy next few days so I'm taking today to kind of have a calm but productive day because I have things that I need to get ready but I'm just kind of starting the day with a face mask I've already I've done my brows I steamed my oh it's still on I just steamed my face I got the steam off Amazon a few years ago it's really good and now I've made myself if you're an OG I always used to make this mask for myself but it's the healthy mask it's got like turmeric and gram flour let me know if you want the recipe I'll let you know but I've just made a turmeric mask so I'm gonna put it on now I've not used this in years I used to use it religiously like about once or twice a week and it was so good for my skin and then I remember it kind of came under fire a few years ago loads of people on the internet were saying that like, you shouldn't put food ingredients on your face kind of stopped using it because I was like yeah why am I putting food ingredients on my face and then think about last year turmeric became like the new skincare trend and I was like you know what results are results and I got so many good results from using this face mask so I'm just gonna start using it again I did put less lemon in it because that's one I kind of understand obviously lemon is acidic so you don't want to put too much of that on your skin because of sun damage and stuff I'm gonna try and use this like I said, it's my first time using it, but I'm going to try and keep up with it, see if I see any changes. I will say though, if you have a lighter complexion than me, don't use this or don't put that much healthy in it because it will stain your skin. I'm just going to put my mirror here because I can't really see what I'm doing. If you have my complexion or you're darker, you should be fine with it. I'm going to steam my face again once I have this on. Let me know if there's benefits of having your face mask on and steaming your face i always do it but i'm not actually sure if it if it does anything but it feels nice anyway let me tell you guys about these busy few days that i'm about to have so i'm going to london tomorrow i'm so excited you guys know if you watch my channel i just love going to london every time i go i have the best time i just love being in the city i was born and raised in manchester so yeah i just love um, the city vibes is super random basically Kush magazine if you've not heard of them They're like a bridal Indian bridal. I think it's Indian bridal magazine. They're super big They're holding a really big wedding event. So it's like loads of vendors It's in the Langham Hotel. So very fancy five-star hotel and there's gonna be loads of vendors there Just for everything like wedding planners photography cakes all the designers are gonna be there like the jewelry designers Outfit designers all of that. I'm not getting married but I just love that stuff and I know you guys like looking at wedding content so I was like of course I'll come this is open to the public but they've invited like influencers to come and get content for them I don't actually get to go to a lot of events because a lot of these influencer events they're normally on weekdays and they're normally in London a few are in Manchester and because I work full-time I don't really get to go to them so this was on the weekend I was like yes let's do it so I booked my ticket and I'm gonna meet up with some friends after as well yeah so there's that and then the day after one of my best friends is having her Islamic marriage I feel so emotional when I talk about it because I've literally known her since primary school even before primary school like we went to mosque together we went to primary school high school and like she's just such a big part of my life so I'm really excited about that yeah I can't wait I've got like outfits I need to decide between I went to Shafa's house to like steal loads of her Asian outfits really excited I need to get my outfits ready today because I'm not gonna have time tomorrow so yeah that's why I'm having kind of a chill but productive day today I need to change my bedding after this so yeah I made too much of this mask I just double it up on my skin I'm also going to get lunch today with my little sister Maria and my mom so I'm super excited about that we're going to a place called RF patisserie we're also all going to get back massages as well which I'm so excited about so it's like a cute little girl day I'll probably vlog the lunch that we have at RF patisserie I've been a few times and the food is always really lovely and it's halal so that's always nice yeah I feel like I've been talking for a really long time I'm gonna do my bedding and then yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a very hectic vlog so I thought I would vlog the day before kind of start it on a slow note and then we'll get into everything else should I see him again I don't know I might just do my bed
okay guys i quickly just got dressed i think my skin just needs a second to breathe so i'm not doing any makeup today i've got a little slick back bun in i'm gonna quickly go and run all my errands i need to go to the laundrette post office charity shop um do some grocery shopping and then i'm going out for brunch with my mum and my sister i think i already mentioned that and then i'm gonna get my outfits ready for the next two days and iron them and hopefully i'll be prepared for the next two days because like i said they're gonna be a bit hectic i'll try to vlog as much as i can <laughs> This is the Mumbai sandwich. It's got lot of three bread layers in there. My mum got a cheese and onion pie and then I got some sliders. How good does this dessert look? It's like brioche and then a crumble on top. Thing. Mari wants it now, so I'll stop recording. Actually, are you gonna pour, should I pour the thing on? Is it hot? Okay. Okay, you just do it. managed to grab something quickly um, because I've not had breakfast and I'm really hungry but I'm just finding my seat now on the train so I'll talk to you guys in a bit when I sit down hi guys I made it to the train station I'm in my seat and yeah it's like a three hour train ride I'm so tired I had about like five hours sleep and I rushed to get ready so I didn't even vlog like me getting ready even though I planned to um, and I wanted to show you my outfit of the day but I'll try and do it in London um, Um, but yeah, I bought my book, so I'm just gonna read my book and then I will talk to you guys when we get there. I actually love long train journeys. So excited to be in London again. I just, I love going there. I love, even when I don't do anything, I just like being around London. I've not had a chance to pull out my camera. I'm just out of the event now and it was so beautiful. But I've come to like a quiet street just so I can pull my camera out. Um, but yeah, I'm having so much fun. I'm just walking around. I don't know if you can hear me because it's so windy, but I am gonna go meet up with my friend. I just thought I would do an outfit of the day here because I don't know when I'll be able to do it. The leather trench that I wear all the time is from Naked. I'm obsessed with it. Um, Shafa gave me her bag to carry. This is super in style. It's from Mango. But I've got so much in here. Top has thumb holes, which I thought was so cute. But yeah, it's my little outfit of the day.
Good morning guys, it is the day of my friend's Islamic marriage. I am so tired, but the event starts quite early so I just want to start getting ready. I am going to put some oil in my hair this morning. I think I'm going to go with the Amala Gold and then also the Vatica Coconut, which I've been loving this. My hair feels really really soft after I've been using this coconut one. I'm going to put them in my hair now and then go and shower. Okay, I've just gotten out of the shower. I decided I'm going to let my hair air dry instead of using a hair dryer on it. I'm going to start my makeup. This might be a bit reckless but I'm going to try a new product on my face the day of a big event. It is the Prep and Perfect Vitamin Enriched Moisturising Primer from Primark. I actually don't know what it's a dupe for. I think it's something like Bobbi Brown or maybe Charlotte Tilbury. I'm actually not sure but I know it's a dupe for something and people are raving about it so I'm going to try it on. It is really thick. I'm happy about that as you know I've got very dry skin so that's nice. It's moisturising. What I don't really love about primers, I don't really use them because they feel sticky on my face. Let's just see how my makeup sticks on it. I'm not going to do a full makeup routine just because I'm still using up Make Lat. I wouldn't purchase it again so I don't want to promote anything that I'm not personally going to buy again. I have no idea what outfit I'm wearing guys. Obviously it's her Islamic marriage. It's not a small one, it's quite a big event so I don't know what level of outfit I should be wearing. Me and Neha have kind of coordinated. I feel like our outfit options are the same level of heaviness so that makes me feel a bit better. The actual day I will explain it to you. Islamic marriage is going to take place in the mosque at three and then we've got kind of a time in between where we can go home and then her actual event is at six. I feel like I might not do my hair for the mosque part because I'm going to wear a hijab and I don't want to do that thing where I put my dubatta on my head because it's a see-through dubatta and I feel like that's quite disrespectful like going to a mosque with a see-through dubatta on my head. I might just put a natural hijab on and then come back home quickly do my hair and then go off to the actual like reception and everything. Oh Neha's ringing me. We've literally been ringing each other like crazy trying to figure out what we're doing. Let me wink her and then I will continue talking. So sorry guys, I got distracted. I was on FaceTime with Neha and then I decided to ring my sister as well just to catch up. But yeah, I ended up doing most of my makeup off the camera. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I haven't had a full glam on for ages. I've not really been wearing makeup a lot um, recently. Just gonna finish off with blush, lips, and then some setting spray. And then sometimes I like to put on more blush after I've done my setting spray. Also, the beauty of having sisters, like you guys will get this if you have sisters. Obviously you get to share all your western clothes together. But it also means you get to share all your shawar kameezes, which is so helpful. I have two outfit options. One is one of my older sister's Asian outfits and then one is my younger sister's Asian outfit. I'm really blessed that we all fit in the same outfit. One's on the darker side though. I do think the unspoken rule for an Islamic marriage is that everyone wears light outfits. So, well, at least every Islamic marriage I've been to, everyone kind of wears pastel colours. No one agrees to it beforehand, it's just kind of a thing that you do. So I will show you both the options, but I am kind of leaning towards the other one, which is like a bista colour and it's so pretty. So my little sister Maria, she's had this Asian outfit for years and I've always had my eye on it, but I've never really had an opportunity to wear it. So I think today's the day. I feel like I talk about this in every vlog, but I really do need a new vlogging camera. But I think at this point I must have a sentimental connection to this one just because I've had it since I first started making YouTube videos I had like a retail job at Stradivarius and I saved up all my money from like the summer that I was working there And I spent it all on this camera and now I feel like I have a sentimental connection The screen's cracked and it's like all the screws are loose and it's being held together by a hair bubble. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys onto my favorite lipstick. I don't think I've shown you guys this before. Maybe I have, but it's the Charlotte Tilbury Mrs. Kisses lipstick. And if you are a brown girl, I definitely recommend this lipstick. It's just the pink shade really brightens my skin up. I used to be like a die hard nude lip girl and I would wear nude lip every single day. I didn't realize it was making me look very ashy. But yeah, this pink shade is just everything. Do you think I put too much lip liner on? It does look darker, but this will fade. But yeah, let's go pick out my outfit. Oh, I forgot my setting spray. This makeup literally needs to last me for like the next seven hours. So let's see how it holds up. Okay, these are my two outfit options. Like I was saying, this is the one I was saying I was gravitating more towards just because it's a lighter color. I've also never worn pissed I have tried this purpley one on and it's 
absolutely gorgeous my only thing is i know everyone wears lighter colors and i know the outfit is light but the but is so dark i love this purple color if you're a brown girl and you've not worn this kind of deep shade of purple yet definitely try it out it will make your skin pop trust me love the bronzy gold garm on the suit uh none of these are designers i think that is a copy of a designer outfit but i'm not sure which designer this one we just got made um in pakistan i'm not sure what this material is someone comment below but you know how this shine this shiny fabric i just think any outfit made out of this is gorgeous but i'm gonna go get some jewelry out now okay i'm contemplating between the silver and gold jewelry now i'm so gutted because i have these really pretty junk gear that normally i match with this amazing necklace but i've lost the other one and i've been looking everywhere and i can't find it and that's what i get for being disorganized with my outfit and everything they weren't a set but they just happened to go together this is actually my mom's old necklace that she used to wear when she was like my age i think i borrowed this off shuffle for a wedding and i just never ended up giving it back to her so if you're watching this shuffle i have your necklace and earring set And we're at Noir, um, which is called Mersey now. Yeah. I don't know why. And we just had some starters, but we feel really full. Yeah. And it's such a me. gorgeous wedding, it's literally beautiful. I feel like this is gonna make some people get excited in the comments and try and guess who it is. Oh, yeah, but you won't know who it is. But we love you, little detectives. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. It. Yeah, we do. <laughs> We didn't do outfits of the day. Yeah, we need to do it. This is a sneak peek. Um, also, guys, before I go, I know Sheen can sometimes be a little bit controversial, but I got this back from it. Wait, show it here. I want to hold it. So if you see my outfit picture on Instagram and I'm holding this bag, it's not mine. And it, if you see this on Instagram and you know that it's stolen, um, put the what emoji should they put? Uh, like a camera emoji. Put the camera emoji because yeah. then I know that you'll come from YouTube. Also, my press on nails are from Sheen. That's um, so nice. I'm not sponsored by Sheen. Like designer dupes. Yeah, I love. But they go with everything. Like, look how it goes with the calm on my suit, yeah. even though it's so different to Zara's. Yeah. And then it goes with Zara's too. Oh, exactly. How cute. And it actually fits my car keys and chewing gum and lip gloss. They and that's all you need. So um, my fit the Charlotte Tilbury powder in there. Oh, amazing. Yeah, that's so good. Good. So that's like the only thing you Oh, it's a little exclusive I got in my tissues, bag. tissues in case I cry. Yeah, and we probably will. And then the lipstick that I showed you guys that oh, I'm obsessed yeah. with. Love it. But yeah. Okay, so me and Hannah are going to do our outfit of the days now. So, um, this outfit is from a place in Birmingham. Uh, I think it's called Ela. It arrived after my brother's wedding, so I don't recommend ordering things from them. But it is a stunning outfit. I've got my bag. Uh, which we showed you earlier. Which I might hijack. This is like one of Mari's old things, but we literally copied it off a designer years ago. But I don't remember what designer. So if you do have it's a really pretty. Up, if you guys want to get it copied, you're more than welcome to. And also, do you, Hannah, do you know the name of this material, like the shiny material? Um, I want to say it's organza chiffon or chiffon oh, organza. It, is. I it looks like organza. Yeah, and these are my mum's old. Bangles. Bangles, yeah. I love them. Yeah. Yes, gorgeous. Yeah,